exactly what happened with Elijah is that the is that his discouragement brought him into a place of rejection so that the enemy could isolate him. And particularly with prophetic people, the devil and the enemy always wants to bring the spirit of rejection upon so that it can in turn bring isolation within. And, and with prophetic people, because they are sensitive, Prophetic people are, are feelers, they're seers. Again, what did this Jebusite spirit, what did God say in Numbers 33? He said, this, these spirits or these tribes are going to, if you do not drive them out, they are going to bring barbs upon your eyes so you can't see the truth. You will see an illusion or you will be presented with something that is not truth, but you will believe it as truth. You will believe it as a fact. You will believe it because the enemy's ultimate goal is to get your mind to a place where you feel utterly rejected so that he can isolate you and bring you to a place where you are no longer effective for the kingdom. And then in Numbers uh, 33, it says that the, it would be thorns around the sides. In other words, it would steal the wind of God or the breath or the declaration that God wants to release out of your mouth. And for some of you, um, that is exactly what's been happening. Firstly, you've been in a place of discouragement. Some of you don't even feel like praying. You have a blanket of heaviness that's been over you. Um, and you haven't, your, your prophetic mantle is laying uh, on the ground while this blanket of, uh, dis, of discouragement is resting upon you. And you have to cast off the spirit of heaviness and put on the spirit of joy. You have to pick up your mantle and you need to begin uh, to wage war and recognize that you are under a warfare and you are in the midst of the battle. And unless you have the blinders taken off, you're going to be utterly destroyed. And that's what the enemy wants right now. He wants to bring you to a place of utter rejection through isolation. And so what the enemy will do, and some of you have been having this happen to you, even over the last uh, six months, this has been happening, where you feel rejected even by those that are around you. Those that are closest to you. Those that, um, those that God has brought into your life to speak into you. And the enemy has been coming with his whispers that have been saying to you, they've been talking to you about how people don't understand you. They don't, they don't really get who you are. They don't understand what your destiny is, what your purpose is. That you're the only one that is hearing from the Lord. And so re that spirit comes to bring rejection. And it wants to isolate you from the rest of the body. That's why I've been very adamant. Very adamant. That in particular, prophetic people need community. People that are uh, highly prophetic in nature, those that are sensitive uh, to the realms of the spirit, need to be under strong leadership so that they can uh, go fully into what God has called them to do. And the enemy wants to try to remove you, uproot you, and uh, cut you off from even those that can speak into your life prophetically, can direct you positionally uh, so that you're headed in the right direction and you're not being sideswiped by the enemy. 
the enemy knows that. So what he'll do is he'll bring uh, this spirit, this Jebusite spirit, out of the mountain, out of the high place. It's a spirit of deception to bring you uh, into a mindset of rejection so that it will isolate you and you'll begin to believe that nobody's for you, that no one understands you, that uh, you're, you're the only one. And, and so as a result of that, you're now isolated. And Elijah was isolated. He was on the mountain. And let me say this to you because uh, it needs to be said. Supernatural experiences are not your plumb line of whether God is with you or not. Because in the midst of Elijah being on the mountain, there were supernatural things that were happening in the mountain that were not the Lord. You say, what do you mean, Brother Charlie? Well, the, the lightnings, the thunderings, the earthquake, the fire, these, these uh, the rumblings, the shakings. There were things that were supernaturally happening around Elijah, but they were not from the Lord. They were not from the Lord. And sometimes we miss the supernatural because our eyes are so focused on the spectacular. Let me say that again. Sometimes we miss the supernatural because we're so focused on the spectacular. And the enemy will try to bring even encounters that will make you believe that you are in fact the only one that has this extreme type of encounter. That you are in elitist class by yourself and people just do not understand you. And that spirit of rejection comes on you and you begin to isolate from everyone around you. And unless you are sensitive to know the word of God. See, this is, this is, this is our plumb line, you guys. This word here is more important than, than your, your vision or your dream. And for prophetic people, you have to be grounded in the Word of God. You have to not just be reading this Word, but understand it, recognize the Word of the Lord, because it will, dis, it will, it will be... Uh, the deciding factor whether this particular spirit of deception can come and rest in your mountain. Man, I feel like God is, is opening up some people's eyes right now.